hey guys, thought, well, you know, maybe you guys are still a bit bored over the summer, and I saw this cool idea and thought that I would give it a try, and it's making freezer chalk. You will need four things. Water, cornstarch, food coloring, and an ice tray. Mine has cool little buffins. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the voodoo, and you're going to mix equal parts cornstarch and water. So I'm putting half a cup of cornstarch into my measuring cup there. And then I'm going to put half a cup of water in with it. No, you really don't need to look at that. All right. My helper is always helping out. All right, so what I'm going to do now is mix this together. In the, oops, almost spill it. I'm always messy in the kitchen. All right, mix that together carefully. And then, I'm going to pour it into your ice tray. Oops. And you don't want to fill them all the way up because you'll need a little room for mixing. Of course, I'm making a mess. Yep, there we go. Yes, please help me make a bigger mess. Scoop. And more dolphins to fill up. All right, and apparently I need to be washed. So I'm filling these dolphins up. And I actually have a little bit extra, so I've got another ice tray I'm just going to fill in a few more. Oops. This makes quite a bit much. Now, I did an ice tray earlier, a standard ice tray, and I only got 11 of the cubes filled. So it really depends on your ice tray. All right, so I'm going to fill those up. And then I'm going to take my food colorings. And I actually have standard colored food colorings, and I've, that I'm going to throw on the floor, neon colors. And I've never actually used these before, so I'm kind of excited. So I'm going to mix... No, don't eat the food colorings. Mix some drops in. And these are the neon ones, so I really have no idea. Now, you can make an experiment out of this by looking at the depth of color, how many drops and stuff that you put in. When we first put it in, you're going to actually need to mix it around a bit. And I found that using a fork kind of works for that. I'm getting these kind of mixed around. Oops, that one's over full. And the gel colors, I don't like the gels as much, but I couldn't find the drops in neon, so that's why I'm working with the gel colors here. And kind of mix that around. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That actually looks better than I thought it might. So you can see... I've mixed in the pink there. See those two pink dolphins? And what you'll do is you'll keep mixing in colors, any variety of colors you like. And maybe I make some purple dolphins and some uh, orange. That was not helpful. Orange dolphins. I'm really sorry about that and some green dolphins and I'll mix these around and I'm going to use different forks for the different colors for obvious reasons because we really don't want our colors to all mix together you mix them all together you usually get some ugly shade of brown and we don't want that and this is the most unhelpful lab assistant ever so I'm going to mix these around and then I'll put them into the freezer and let them freeze and then what we're going to do is we're going to take these outside and it's a really hot day and see what happened so I'll see you in a little bit all right so I have these frozen this is an original set I made and then the dolphins that I made with the uh, neon colors so what I'm going to do is kind of see how this works so I'm going to pop one out and then start kind of 
biting with it. And interesting, you can kind of see some colors coming out. Maybe just sit that there for a second. I'm getting poon coloring on myself. But I'm gonna switch this around and draw and see what you, or show you kind of what happened, see what it looks like. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of draw on the ground and see, oh yeah, you can actually see the color coming out. Now, whoops, I'm staining myself in the process. But you can actually kind of write with this. And what might even be cooler is to kind of stick them and let them melt. And then maybe you can get some really cool effects. You can see I've started to melt this stuff in here. You can see the purple around. So I might stick them out and melt them and just see what happens.